we people who are living in Benton Park uh, are living under very, very difficult situation. And to put the situation together is like uh, 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 is the same uh, situation of torture that I escaped from my country. The difference is in my country the torture is physical and that will take you more or less few hours to die and forget about it. While in Norway it is mentally... I have been to Wintermutak for about three years as a refugee and I am an evangelist in Christ and I'm very glad about it. But uh, I have been living in Lie Wintermutak before until two, three months ago. And I was a witness that one of the staff of the camp hit a Somali woman because she wanted to have a little more milk uh, than what she, uh, as much, uh, what she was supposed to have. Sometimes in the summer, <coughs> an, an, an inhabitant of the event of attack went to a reception to ask for some help. He wasn't satisfied with the, the way he was answered and he started to cut himself. A person gets as desperate as that, blood covered the floor, and then a, a, a staff reacted, telling him, you can cut your stomach from left to right and just die. In one week, this, ha this happened at Fagli, Bentumutak. An Iraqi man cut himself and writing on the wall by his blood, Fuck Norway, many places, sorry to say that, with his blood. And it was washed quickly. And after that, it was a 60-year-old man, sick, with the dark, big boils, on his body every day crying out behind the reception of Fagli Mutak for medical help. And they did not they were not caring about him. They didn't care. And that was the second one. And one day he got crazy and he put his cup on the window of re reception door. So instead of they taking to nurse or something, police came and cat uh, arrested him and took him so after that they took him to Legobot and Legobot says you are out of system and we cannot help you, go out and now he is in Lier uh, Ventemutak. So they just removed him to Lier Ventemutak. The third one was an Ethiopian boy that even the psychologist wrote a letter that he has, as I talked to him, he has some problems. He should not live in a place that there is a stress around him, but they put him in Fagli Ventumutak and one day, not once, twice, he, he took billiard ball and broke all glasses. And they took the police, police catch him, uh, police came and arrested him and I don't know where he is now. So these are the incidents in one week. How do you think history will view Norway? one of the most prosperous and safest countries in history of the world, where asylum seekers are rejected against even the, the, you know, the UN Convention of Mentally Tortured, and even chased by dogs, and where, where a politician can call an African an apes without any consequences. I remember very well uh, when the Ventimotak was uh, established uh, and that was as a result of the last government's policy to throw um, asylum seekers out on the streets without food, without clothes, without any money for life support. Uh, and um, the Ventimotak was established as an um, alternative uh, to that situation. Uh, when it comes to the Ventimotak, uh, they were never supposed to be anything else uh, than a place to stay, to live, to have food and uh, just basic uh, life support, if I may say so. 
uh, until uh, the Norwegian society were able to send them out or people left uh, for their own, uh, on their own machine. And uh, desperation has never been and will never be uh, a, a reason for asylum uh, in Norway. Uh, so I think that whether or not we put, we're, we're putting the line here or there, we will always meet the dilemma uh, attached to the situation in the Netherlands. We opened the rent account when we sat in the meeting because it was thought as an arrangement for people who were on the way back. It was not thought as a place where people could live in three years. And I think that if we now, in fact, have to sit down and see if things work as it was thought to do it. If not, we have to do something new. But uh, many of the stories that have been told by different, different people here today uh, of course, I, I, I don't know of these stories. I have had critical stories earlier on, and it's one of the reasons why I said that I wanted an evaluation of the Vantamotak, and we will get that now, in the, in the year to come. I will first interrogate on the new Vantamotak, and see where we are, and 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 so on the north of the year, but I will say, 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 Ja, nu har den sittende regjeringen ingen politikk som går på å sende folk til Hakken Bjørnøy eller Svalbard, så det tror jeg ikke er aktuelt. Jeg tar gjerne imot invitasjonen til Lier. Faktisk er det sånn at vi har bedt om å komme ut på besøk på ulike institusjoner. Og jeg tror også vi er et av de, så ja takk gjerne, jeg tar gjerne mot den invitasjonen.